What we want to do now is we want to find the highest value in terms of cross similarity. The cross similarity is a value which gives um, um, yeah, the value across all tokens for the complete world. And the higher this value becomes, um, the more precise is the prediction. Start. Wetter. Termine. Start. Wetter. Termine. Start. Wetter. Wetter. Termine. So this is quite a good value and um, what you can do is you can of course check um, the highest prediction you get in your environment. Start. And you can just check this by um, the sorted best match. I think I explained this in one of the last videos. Uh, or in one of the last um, videos I made. So this is the minimal cross similarity. The first value, the second value is the left distance and the third value is the right distance. And this is the value we are currently um, tweaking, which means we got right now um, a 0 0.9. And we can do this, of course, for all the trained words, wetter, again, 0 0.9, Termine, Termine, last time um, we got a false positive and we will tweak this in a, a second. Also, this, um, this result is above 0 0.9. So what, what we could um, do here is we increase this value to 0 0.9 as all three tests gave results above 0 0.9. So this um, should be yeah, tested and um, analyzes um, a couple of days, a couple of weeks. I'm doing this that I store all of my false positives and also all of my true positives. And I compare them to find out how high this number can become to get the best positives and also high low the um, left and right distances can become. So as I saw that we got um, a false positives a couple of seconds ago, we can ju just um, lower these values here to see if we get rid of the um, false positives. And we test again. Start. Wetter. As you can see that we don't got wetter here as we were below 0 0.9, which means if we want to have um, yeah, two positives as well, we have to lower this good value. And we lower this value right now to 0 0.8 and see if we get two positives. Start. Wetter. Termine. 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 What happened is that we got um, three, uh, two times a false positive. And we can now see how low the left and the right distance can become to get the um, to get rid of the false positives. 
the two positives has a wide distance of 0 0.07 and the false positives has a 0 0.09. So this depends right now and um, needs really yeah, a little tweaking and maybe also a retraining of the of the word. So you train just more words from different angles, different distances, and um, try to find out if this works for you. Start. Wetter. Termine. So we got now Termine, but um, the second word does not recognize um, and this is because the left distance was below our um, our configured web value, so we have to keep the zero dot two here. Start. Wetter. Termine. So all three were recognized correctly, and this is how to approach best um, precision. You just really check out, um, do, do the training, find out the optimal values for you. You also um, need the correct thresholds, and if you don't get um, good results um, and a lot of false positives, you always have the possibility um, to change uh, the chunks, um, the steps here to increase the precision. And um, what we want to do now is you can calculate the similarity values in the different ways. So um, what we have here is the similarity for the frequencies and here is the similarity calculation of the waveform, of the raw waveform. And you can also um, add the dominant frequencies, also called frequency zero sometimes. So um, you can mix the um, or you can take um, yeah, different characteristics from the input and calculate the cross similarity. And this really gives you different results and you have to play with it. So I, ch uh, I change the values and we can now take a look if something has changed. Start. Wetter. Termine. So we still get the um, get the correct result, the correct predictions, um, but you maybe get higher or lower um, similarities. You maybe get the different left and right distances and stuff like. That. That. So this is a kind of um, depends on your environment, on your microphone, on your training ground and stuff like that. To increase um, not on a programmatic and configuration level, what you can do always is um, as I'm training as I'm using here right now, one word one word recognition and prediction, you can chain up trained words and try to um, add an activation word and you can um, yeah, combine trained words and see if this gives you better predictions and better um, precisions as this is normally um, as you use more words, um, you manage in in your in your um, prediction phase. The more precision you become, uh, you get. 
platform is this. Um, I'm currently coming to the end. I, I hope I could give you the blueprint and um, I gave you the steps to increase the precision and I hope you understand it. If not, just drop me a mail, a comment or something like this. And um, thank you for watching. Bye.